welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about a new skincare product that I've been using for the past probably about one and a half weeks. I've decided to start talking about it after like one and a half week instead of the usual one month of trying out a skincare products because I feel skincare products sometimes or most of the time you actually do need a longer period of time of trying it out but uh, this one because I feel like I kind of already know like after one and a half weeks I kind of already know what's my decision and my thoughts about this the olive tree the mask rose skincare range okay I have the full set is this the full set I think it is this is the full set of the small travel size I do not have the full set of the full size or, or any any full size here olive tree is a brand that i trust i've used olive tree before i know the olive tree i like their products actually i do like their bar soaps i do like some of their like um uh, hand wash and shampoos and body wash i i actually quite like their products i like that they are also one of the organic products in Malaysia, but it is made in Australia. They sent me the Damask Rose set. I feel that always whenever a company says, oh, you have dry skin, use our rose range. You know, we have rose collection, our rose skincare collection. I always feel that rose is just such a such an important ingredient to um, hydrating your skin, to moisturizing your skin to help target dry skin basically <laughs> I just feel like almost all my products basic hydrating products are actually rose scented or rose based type of products so yeah I have four products with me I've of course already opened these up again I've mentioned these are travel size items uh, I have one of the Damas Rose Floral Facial Cleanser I have the Damas Rose Floral Facial Toner and I have the Essence, the Mask Rose Facial Essence and like super small bottle here, this is like 5ml. That's one of the reasons why I decided to do it within one and a half weeks because you know this small amount of product, I cannot use this for a month, especially the way that I use my skincare products. These are just too little for me to use for a month, okay? So the other one is the Facial Moisturizer, it's also in 5ml. I really really like how they package this product, I love how the box looks like, this is the cleanser one. It doesn't have the ingredients in here though, like the information of the ingredients, it doesn't write here. But it does write on the bottle itself, which I prefer because usually when you take it out from a box, you kind of just throw the box away. I never really keep the box anyway. I prefer that they put the ingredients details on the bottle itself so that I can actually refer to it whenever I want to because this is the one that you will actually keep it and put it on your vanity counter, vanity desk, beauty counter, whatever that you want to call it, or in your toilet or whatever it is. Keeping it right now just so that I can show it to you guys. I will definitely be throwing them very very soon. Although they look absolutely gorgeous, you can of course, you know, if you want, do some coloring on this. It's up to you. Coloring is very therapeutic to some people. Not so much me, because I just feel like it's such a waste of time. <laughs> I just, I, I will, if I want to relax, therapeutic, I will play games. I will play Sims, I will play PUBG Mobile, whatever else it is, I will play games. It's just beautiful. Like, I love the boxes. It looks very, very nice, very natural feel, okay, or all, all natural. The cleanser, the travel cleanser comes in 50 ml. This is Hydrating the Mask Rose Floral Facial Cleanser. It's a very mild and gentle facial cleanser with high antioxidant properties that keep our skin clean and hydrated. 90% agree to this. When you pump it out, it's actually like a clear liquid and it's not even thick. It's very, very liquidy. It's very, very like almost like oil. But really not oil, it's just uh, a cleanser that then you add water into it. When you try to foam it up, it actually doesn't foam. It just um, bubbles up a little bit. You can lather it up, but it doesn't lather up into a foam like basically, okay? It does bubble a little bit. It does still clean quite well, but it doesn't leave your skin drying. It doesn't leave your skin feeling super tight, over drying your skin. It doesn't do that, which is, which is fantastic. It's, it's all I ask in the cleanser, it's fantastic. It cleans your face, but at the same time hydrates your face. So it's a pretty good cleanser. I really, really do like this cleanser. It smells good as well. It is vegan friendly, biodegradable, not tested on animals. 
fantastic and i think 50 ml is just nice for travel not like 5 ml like this okay this is like probably at most i would give like a week or so and then you're gonna be like if you're not going to like winter weather yeah okay for dry scene people like me i cannot survive in this <laughs> i do approve of this next up we're gonna talk about the damas rose floral facial toner also again it's one of the product that i do like from this the Mars Rose collection or the Mars Rose range. It smells amazing. It does smell a little bit alcoholy, but actually that very strong, sharp scent is not alcohol, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's definitely not alcohol because there's no alcohol written behind here at all. It's actually witch hazel scent. The ingredient in here is the witch hazel ingredient that you're smelling the extract. That's why it has a very sharp, that's very piercing, that's almost alcoholy. It's not alcohol, don't worry, okay? It is the witch hazel extract in here, which I absolutely love because witch hazel has this like scent that I cannot resist. I love it whenever people put it in their skincare products, especially toners. I generally like to use it on a cotton pad and wipe it on my face. It's really good as a, like, a double cleanser, like extra step of cleansing lah, basically. So with this also, I don't put it on my palm and apply it like that. I don't. I actually use a cotton pad to swipe it all over my face because of that particular extract or ingredient in there. The other ingredients are obviously the first ingredient is rose extract, okay? Second is aloe vera which is which makes it very very nice on the skin. It makes you feel like um, hydrating because of the aloe vera extract in it. My skin don't feel stingy after using this. It doesn't sting my skin in any way. It doesn't react badly to my skin at all. It just feels super refreshing and super nice to use like this toner. It is a really really good toner. This is also 50ml and I think for this size, travel size 50ml toner is actually a, in a pretty good size. Lah. Next up, we're gonna talk about the Damas Rose Floral Facial Serum. Unfortunately, this is one that I really don't like at all. It's actually worse than a lot of other serums that I have currently. It doesn't smell that great. Let me let me tell you that. It doesn't smell that great. It's surprising. It's just weird. Like I mean comparatively like the cleanser and it smells a little bit like the cleanser, but the cleanser just smells nicer. I don't know why. My main problem with this is not the smell actually. This one is a little bit like dented already. It's a little bit like off-sided already. It's not in perfect condition. I don't think I dropped this. For me, my main beef with this is not the scent. It's definitely the product itself. It is super, super sticky. I love that it comes in a palm, obviously. I like the packaging. It's adorable and you have this cover thing just in case, you know, so that you don't press or something like that when you travel. I love the packaging in general. It's just that product itself is just sticky. It just feels very tight on your face. People can say it as firming feeling, but I don't feel that way. I just feel like it's tight. No matter how well I blend it off, no matter how well I tap it in, it still feels sticky. Even if you have dry skin, I don't really recommend this serum. There are a lot of other serums out there that are meant for dry skin one that feel so much better than this. This is the Damas Rose Floral Facial Moisturizer. The moisturizer itself comes in a same packaging basically as the serum. My issue with this is that in the beginning, the pump, I try to pump the product out. It doesn't want to pump out. I had issues in the packaging. The nozzle just doesn't want to pump out any product. So for the past like week, I have been like unscrewing this and trying to scoop out products from this uh, plastic tube and apply on my fingers and apply it on my face from there. I don't really have an issue with this moisturizer, but I feel that it just makes it the products worse after I use the serum. So with this on top of that sticky serum, it just doesn't make sense. It still feels sticky, it still feels weird. And the worst part is that um, this moisturizer is not one of those moisturizers that will leave a super long lasting moisture on your skin especially on my skin specifically on super dry skin it kind of just goes off after a while this moisturizer alone it's not sticky at all it's not oily it's not sticky it's actually a pretty good moisturizer it's a pretty decent moisturizer lah, okay but it's not uh, creamy enough for me for my personal preference this is not creamy enough for my nighttime use it's not rich enough for my nighttime use basic entry level moisturizing skincare moisturizing moisturizer it's actually not too bad 
it reminds me of the Mahmoud uh, moisturizer that I have that is lightweight type of moisturizer that's meant for dry skin type one um, so personally I would use this on a daily basis but more towards like the morning routine before I want to put on makeup so this works well as a moisturizer itself but it doesn't layer well on the serum it's it doesn't make sense though, okay? The serum just kind of ruins everything. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for my reviews. All thoughts of uh, these, the Olive Tree products. Overall, I am actually quite impressed of some of the products. I do like the Olive Tree skincare products. Olive Tree is a good brand. It's a fantastic organic brand. You guys, if you guys are looking for a natural skincare or natural body wash or whatever products, like basically beauty products that are natural and organic, you guys can check out the olive tree they are pretty good i think they have a store in one new as well so they are super accessible even if you don't want to go to one new you can always just go online and check them out for a natural and organic skincare products or beauty products they are not overly pricey yeah i highly do recommend uh the olive tree just don't get a serum <laughs> okay that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe i hope to see you guys in my next video bye